for a number of reasons. We all know what problems construction sites can have. Uh, this one in particular, we had two issues. One is that we delayed the start uh, because of the importance of reproviding the Laguna Youth Club, which we were committed to do and we did very successfully. And also we had very, very bad weather last winter and that always has an impact. So we are a few weeks uh, later than we would like to be. And although the works have accelerated and we expect to be finished within the next week or so, we didn't feel confident uh, and the profession didn't feel confident that we could be 100% certain that everything uh, was ready. And therefore we, th therefore we thought that uh, the most responsible thing to do is to delay the opening of the new building um, to give time for everybody to be completely 100% certain that it's ready for action and to open in the current school, which is in a perfectly good state uh, to open. Well, if I can just break down your answer there, you mentioned the relocation of the Laguna Youth Club and the storms, but those were all months ago. Uh, should it not have been obvious to you throughout the course of the summer that the school wasn't going to be ready on time? And shouldn't you have taken the decision that you have today sooner to give yourselves a better chance to prepare? Everything is in order uh, and everything is at the, the, the position that it's got to be now. Certainly the, the, there was always a possibility that we would open in the old school um, and uh, clearly uh, when you talk to people uh, who are managing the construction project and you're urging them on uh, to finish in time but responsibly, nothing is being rushed. Um, you, you, you have to assess the situation, you have to consult with a profession, you have to consult with a head teacher. Uh, I myself wanted to go on site to ascertain for myself uh, the the condition of both sites, uh, and therefore uh, we have reached that conclusion now and communicated it now. Although we were in discussion with the professional and the Department of Education uh, for for quite a while. Okay, well, let's just have a look at the old school. Uh, given its proximity to a major construction site and given that the construction has spilt over onto the site of the old school playground, what guarantees can you offer parents in respect of safety? Absolute, absolute safety. We are not going to allow children into a school that is not absolutely safe. Um, so it's next to a construction site. It was next to a construction site for much of, of, of last year. Uh, and fortunately there were, there were no incidents of concern whatsoever. Um, the uh, school has been and it continues to be completely cleaned and the, the staff there within, within the school have been doing a marvellous job through the summer of ensuring it is ready uh, for action now, next week. The playground area uh, will have hoarding put across it in order to completely isolate it from the school building, the new school building, and remember that most of the external work will have been completed and what it is going to need to be completed while the old school is on is largely going to be internal work. So there's not going to be any safety implications whatsoever. Nevertheless, um, it's next door to the construction mm -hmm. site. There has got to be construction dust, there'll be noise, there'll be lots of disruption, just meters no. from classrooms. No, no, no. Uh, Remember that, that, that this was already happened. There was a construction site next door to the old school and the teachers have put up with, with much more impacting works like piling, for example, which is completely over. Uh, virtually all the work that in, includes dust and so on is also over and will be over by next week. You said the new Notre Dame school will be ready on the 11th of September, but looking at the construction site as it stands today, is that realistic? Well, um, this is why the decision has been taken to open on the 3rd, on the due date, in the old school. Uh, because um, I see the school myself, I have been given certain guarantees and so on, uh, but we know that in construction projects there could be delay in deliveries, there could be bad weather again and so on. So to me the important thing is that our children get the education in safe premises and we move when we are absolutely satisfied and that the school is ready to move in. When do you think that will be? Well, I, it will be ready when it's ready. Um, I have been told that the completion will be on September the 11th um, because um, 
we cannot be 100% certain that everything will go absolutely smoothly. There may be uh, uh, perhaps a little bit later than that, but that doesn't mean we would move immediately. We have to be satisfied that all the checks have been carried out, that all the technology is in place, that all the equipment is in place, uh, and it will be whenever it is. It will only be a matter of weeks, but I will be ready when I am ready, and the school will be ready when it is ready, and the school will move when the professional tells me it's time to go. There were criticisms right from the very start that your deadlines for the new school projects were just far too ambitious. Were those critics right? Look, various things. I don't think they're right in this project. I don't mind setting myself targets, which might be hard to achieve. That is a challenge. I would rather be up for it. And I don't mind not meeting this target. What I'm not going to do is kick everything into the future, not get everything done now and say, well, no, no, you know, uh, let's take our time. No, we have our targets. We have our aims. We've seen the progress of this one. We've seen the progress on, on, on Bayside and Westside School, how that is going. Um, and, and other things that, that are coming. I don't set, mind setting myself targets. I've set myself targets all my life, um, and I'll continue to do that, and hopefully I'll achieve as many as I can in, in the time that that is possible.